It's time now for Ask the Coach, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, a proud corporate sponsor of the Vols. Visit them online at academy.com. Welcome back to Ask the Coach, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Today I'm joined by linebackers coach Tommy Thigpen. And Coach Thigpen, your question comes from Tony Watson. He says, how has the transition from a support role to a key player been for Jalen Reeves Maven? Well, we're, we're really pleased with where Jalen is at. Uh, you know, last year he came in as a true freshman, uh, had a shoulder injury, and coming from defensive back, moving to linebackers is just a total different transition. You need the guy on the back end that has a really good feel of secondary play, and then a guy that can also get big enough to play inside. Uh, so just watching him in his development, you know, the one thing that we always talk about as a young player is if he's smart and he's tough, he can help us out. And Jalen gave us a great role last year as a special team player, and, uh, and the guys will tell you, he's probably one of the smartest guys in the room. Talk about how Jalen is really meshing and molding with those guys, AJ, Kurt, Kenny. Just talk about that one Tennessee feel. Well, in the room, you know, we, we, we have open dialogue on how they see the game. Uh, and that's the most important thing as a coach is not about how we see it, but how they see it. And so there's a lot of talk about how we play certain routes and certain different concepts, how we're going to fit certain plays. And so you got a guy like AJ who's been in the room for, you know, three or four, three years now. He knows the lingo of the room. And then now, you know, you would think just by the, the, um, the verbiage that Jalen has that he's been in the room for three years. And it, it kind of takes me back. He's a young guy, and I have to always remind myself that he's really a freshman playing linebacker for me. But just the way he carries himself is very mature, uh, and his approach to the game is very professional. So the dynamics of that room and the way it's set up, you know, it's AJ and Maven, I call them my two alpha males in the room, and the younger guys look to them, and the way they're able to speak the language, and the patience with the young guys, and they can see the guys like Dylan Bates and Cortez, and the struggles that they're having mentally on how to see plays. Uh, it's, it's very valuable to have guys like Maven and AJ in the room. There's lots of emphasis on those red zone defense uh, plays. How important is it for those guys to be consistent across the board? Yeah, we work it every day. I mean, that's, you know, when we talk about situational football, you have openers first and second down, third down. That's situational football, black zone, goal zone, green zone. And the, more, the one thing that you always got to pride yourself on is third down, getting off the field on third down, and then red zone. You know, ball sometimes going to get inside the 20-yard line. We can't let them in the end zone. And you have to limit them to, you know, um, to three points if you can. So for us in the red zone, you're just able to get a guy's mind to click, okay, I'm in the 20-yard line. My whole mentality is now got to change. Now, young guys, again, they don't understand. They play everything the same way. Uh, but older guys like Kurt and AJ and Maven, they're able to actually, you know, match up things quickly and understand exactly how teams are going to attack us in the red zone. Coach, finish the sentence. To be a Tennessee linebacker, you must... Be smart and tough. And that's what we pride ourselves on. Not to be the most athletic guy in the world. Uh, you just got to be smart and tough. You know? And if you do that, you're big and you're strong and you can think the game. I'll take those guys all day long. Give me smart and tough. That's the creed of our room. Coach, thank you for your time. Good luck this season. Thank you.